This is the bite-sized app you've been looking for. Mini quiche may look fancy, but they're actually super simple to prepare and taste so much better than the frozen kind. With tons of different flavor options, there's sure to be something here that everyone will love. Oh yeah, and I'm London Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make healthier spins on classic recipes. Like today with these mini quiche, I'm not only gonna show you how to cook them, but I'm also gonna show you that you can easily make them gluten-free, dairy-free, and even vegetarian with just a few simple substitutions. All right, are you ready? Let's jump straight in and get to cooking. These were such a hit recently at my sister's baby shower that I had to make these for our upcoming annual Christmas party. We're gonna first start off by making that egg-based filling. It's best if you use either a larger measuring cup or a large bowl with a spout because when you go to fill these up, it can be very, very messy. So that spout is gonna make it super simple. If you don't have one of these, you can also either use a large bowl and then carefully transfer the egg-based filling into a regular sized measuring cup. To your bowl or cup, you'll want to add five large eggs, one cup of milk, heavy cream, regular milk, or a dairy-free alternative such as oat milk or cashew milk can all be used. 3 4 teaspoon of salt, 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper, and 1 4 teaspoon of garlic powder. Whisk the ingredients together until everything is well incorporated and refrigerate until ready to use. Next, we'll be preparing the pie crust. I'm using two store-bought pie crusts today because it's gonna save me quite a bit of time. But you can also always make your own homemade pie crust instead. This is a great option if you happen to be gluten-free or dairy-free because you can easily substitute with a gluten-free all-purpose flour or with a vegan butter alternative. Lightly flour a large cutting board and then lay out a seven ounce pie crust. Sprinkle additional flour on the top and then roll it out until it is at least 12 inches round in diameter. Use a two and a half inch round cookie cutter to cut 24 circles from each sheet of pie crust. You'll probably end up re-rolling the dough about three to four times to get all 24 circles. Repeat this process with the other piece of pie crust dough until you have 48 circles. Spray a mini muffin tray liberally with nonstick cooking spray. Press the pie crust rounds into the bottom of the cavity and then up the sides so the crust completely covers them. Repeat this with all 48 pie crust rounds in two mini muffin trays. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna be showing you three different flavor options to try. But y'all, you can truly let your imagination soar here. In total, you're going to need about one cup of add-ins. This can include meats, vegetables, and herbs. If using vegetables, there's no need to cook or saute them beforehand, but be sure to cut them small enough so they become tender while baking. For meats, however, you will want to fully cook them before mixing them in. Today's flavors will include a bacon cheddar and chives, bell pepper, parsley, and mozzarella, and a mushroom spinach in Swiss. Place one teaspoon of add-ins in each mini pie crust And then, top with a sprinkle of cheese. A vegan cheese can be substituted, or it can be left out completely if you're dairy-free. Pour the egg mixture to fill each cup just shy of the top of the pie crust. See, this is where that spout really comes in handy. Use a small spoon to mix together all of the add-ins and cheese so they're evenly distributed throughout the egg mixture. 
Cook the mini quiche in a preheated 375 degree oven for 20 to 22 minutes. Or until the pie crust is golden brown and the center of the egg filling no longer jiggles. Pop the quiche out of the pan using a dull knife. And then serve the quiche immediately with a sprinkle of finely chopped fresh parsley or chives. Mm, these are so much better than those frozen ones. And guys, uh, this is a hard call, but I will have to say that this bell pepper, parsley, and mozzarella one, mwah, it's totally got my vote for my favorite. But what about you? Which one are you gonna try out first? Let me know in the comments. And if you want a few more easy appetizer ideas, make sure you check out these other party food recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.